faces a stone is thrown vertically upward with an initial velocity 2 meter per second. It reaches a maximum height h and returns to the ground. Find the expression for a the maximum height, b velocity on hitting the ground. So now let us look at the solution. Here our initial velocity u is equal to 2 meter per second. Do you understand? So at maximum height, at max height, v is equal to 0. Our final velocity is equal to 0. Do you understand? So using the relationship, using the relationship, v square is equal to u square minus 2gh. Here our final velocity is 0, therefore 0 will now be equal to, our initial velocity is equal to q, q square here, it will now, it will now become q square minus 2gh times 2gh. Do you understand? 2 square minus 2gh. Therefore, making q the subject of the formula, we will now have something like this. Q, Q square is equal to 2GH. Now, if you divide both sides by 2GH, our maximum height, they are asking us for the expression for maximum height. Therefore, our maximum height, H, will now become Q square, Q square all over 2GH. Here, yeah, let, let me now bring it out for you here. Our 2 square is equal to 2GH. Divide, divide through by 2G. When you divide through by 2G, it will now become 2, 2 square all over 2G is equal to H. Therefore, our expression for the maximum height will be equal to h is equal to q square all over 2g, all over 2g. This is our expression for the maximum height at 10. Now, the second question, let us now treat the second question. The second question says the velocity on hitting the ground. The velocity on hitting the ground. Also, the velocity on hitting the ground, when the ball hit the ground, our initial velocity will now become zero. And our final velocity will become maximum on hitting the ground. Therefore, B, therefore, on hitting the ground, our initial velocity will be equal to zero. So using the relationship from the third equation of uniform linear motion, b square is equal to u square plus 2gh. u square plus 2gh. Our u on hitting the ground is 0. Therefore, b square will not be equal to 0 plus 2gh. Here, b square will now be equal to 2 g h so our squaring both sides when we square take the square of both sides square root in both sides square for both side for both side here therefore b square will be at b square is equal to 2 g h 2 g h into the square root. Therefore, this square root will cancel this. Therefore, the velocity on hitting the ground will be equal to b is equal to 2gh. This is the expression for the velocity on hitting the ground. Here, our velocity on hitting the ground will now become root 2g. 
H. This is our answer. Is that clear?